We don't want to waste more time. The Congress said Karnataka government has approved a proposal to withdraw a CBI investigation into the disproportionate assets case against Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiva Kumar. Yes, the Karnataka government. So CBI was investigating the Deputy Chief Minister. The inquiry or the case was referred by the BJP government to the CBI. The CBI gets into the mix. Now when the government has changed, the Congress comes in and says the CBI was wrong. It should not have got the permission. And therefore, let's stop the CBI, halt the CBI from prosecuting Mr. Shiva Kumar. The cabinet, Karnataka, the Congress state cabinet declared that the approval of the previous BJP government was unlawful. Karnataka Minister Priyank Kharge held a press conference earlier today and claimed that the protocol to hand over the case to the CBI was not followed, adding that the case should have been handled by the state police or the Loka Yukta. In response, the BJP has slammed the Congress and said that the Chief Minister is acting under pressure from the party's central leadership and is violating the Constitution. The case has been given to the CBI by the BJP government in Karnataka in 2019 and the matter is sub -judice. but this is the case from the Congress camp. It says, viewers, that certain procedures of taking permissions from requisite authorities like the Speaker were not taken and the case was handed over. They've said that there are several other cases in the state of BJP legislators or BJP leaders who are being tried for uh, graft, but they have not been given to the CBI. Why has only DK Shiv Kumar been singled out? The BJP said this is a conflict of interest. How can the Congress give a clean shit to its own Congress? Let's open this up, viewers. The truth, as always, needs to be debated. And I want to begin first by asking Tehseen Punawala, what do you make of this? This is uh, rather strange. You accuse, you accuse the Bharatiya Janata Party, you accuse the Prime Minister of being in cahoots with Mr. Adani. You go to Telangana and you call the leadership there corrupt. And here, when there is a legitimate case being or a probe being conducted against one of your leaders and the charges are fairly stiff and strong, you suddenly ask the CBI that you can't do it and let's uh, close and wrap up this matter. I mean, isn't that hypocrisy? No, I compliment the government of Karnataka, particularly the Honorable Chief Minister for taking a stand. Central agencies must, must be told not to target opposition states and the procedure is completely violated. Uh, DK Shiv Kumar at that time was a member of the Legislative Assembly in Karnataka. The Speaker's permission was not sought or taken. And in any case, as you rightly said, Rahul, the matter is sub -judice. So the courts will finally decide on it. But I have a question for my friend from the BJP. Assuming everything is wrong, remember Rahul, the story was broken, nine crores was found in a sitting BJP MLA's house. Did ED go there? Did any central agency go there? Cash was recovered. On mobile phone, Narendra Tomer's son is talking about hundreds of crores and account numbers are given. It's not even a deep fake video. It's his son. Has ED gone there? Don't use the agencies. I was just talking to, uh, to the Telangana leadership. The entire ED shifted from, from Rajasthan to Telangana. Entire ED. They are actually raiding Congress leaders in, in, in uh, Telangana now because Congress is winning Telangana. What is going on? Are these agencies or are these private armies of the Honorable Prime okay. Minister and Honorable Home Minister? Karnataka BJP spokesperson Mr. Prashant is here with us. Respond uh, Mr. Prashant to the Congress point of view put forward by Tehseen Punawala tonight. Rahul, firstly, Congress has to understand that neither CBI nor ED are working with the BJP. You have to go back in history and look at when Supreme Court called CBI a cage parrot, Congress was in power, the first family was in power, they were controlling it. Only after BJP has come to power that they are conducting probes independently. And now take this case of DK Shukumar, who was caught with cash of 6 or 8 crores in his Delhi flat during IT searches in 2017 and 18. And then in 2019, September 9th, ED writes a letter to the then Chief Minister Edurapa saying that based on the information with them, they wanted CBI to investigate the case. And then after due processes were followed, the case was handed over to CBI. And also, I want to uh, tell my friend Thaisin that in May 2023, when Shiv Kumar filed a plea in the Karnataka High Court to quash the case, taking all these uh, points that they brought out now, Justice Natarajan his order has said, it is not a uh, consent for prosecution, it is only to conduct the probe. So therefore, that plea was struck down. And then as recently as last month, the CBI, when summoned by the High Court, has informed that the investigations are at advanced stage and they will complete in two months. 
so what this chief minister is trying to do here is to protect his man friday who is the king of corruption so therefore they want oh, the money well, for tasim to fund pula wala it was only for a probe elections in all states what's wrong with a probe face the probe if the probe comes up short the court will throw this case out the cbi will have egg on its face you will have the moral uh, claim the moral high ground and you will be able to score a moral point against the bjp because rahul the process is the punishment the 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 probe goes on for years and years you're harassed and the conviction rate of ed is 0.5 or 0.6% and what the bjp spokesperson talked about 6 crore cash but not of the cbi house. the cbi has got a much higher conviction rate of about 76 77 but the id yes but the cbi then through the cbi they didn't use the ed and that's where the main target is because in these ed cases because of twin conditions you don't get bail so the idea is to jail opposition leaders now let me just let me point out just give me 10 seconds no, sir, let me point out no just 10 seconds sir in the dk shiko and this very particular case first of all the amount recovered is not even 6 crores these are media reports which the ed and it later took back it was 56 lakhs which the karnataka high court ordered that it be given back to dk shiko kumar because that was his mother's money every account was paid for so you see the bjp and the media and uh, the bjp and the but, but ED, let that if the court statement. already took no. such an informed position then the court no. would obviously take an informed position if the case But came why up short suffer? okay why, why should, should he suffer, suffer? okay Mr Prasant why should he suffer no. the process wow, is the punishment it's not about Shiv Kumar suffering IT raids happened in 2017 so therefore who was in power in 2017 in the state government it was congress run government the, it was a income tax raid it was not a ED, ED raid Sir, only IT after they see let me complete it was a income tax yes, raid sir, if you if you're saying that every central government agency okay, we will, is look, behind bjp look, then look, congress look. there is a bit of a problem uh, here no there is a bit of a problem here okay gentlemen i need to take a short break but there is a bit of a problem here viewers think about it this way the congress has faith in the ed and central agencies when they want to go after ksr in the neighboring state of telangana how does one explain that perhaps it would have been better at least from a point of view of optics had the probe been allowed to proceed after all there has been no impediment to uh, the deputy chief minister he is occupying a high post then seem to be very inconvenienced i don't want to jump the gun here of course but had he been cleared he would have come out smelling of roses we'll take a short break when we come back viewers we're going to check in with the men who are still stuck in the uttarkashi tunnel Hello Moto 